Hi everyone, welcome to Loving Life. Life. My name is Victoria. This is my wife, Regina. Mwah. And today, please subscribe to this channel, hit this bell button. Thank you so very much. And we are having mm. Mm. sandwich buns, weird sandwich buns, or uh, this is I bought it from Asian market uh, from TNT, and um, this is like chicken sandwich, and this is coconut bun with cream. Yeah, and here we have tea, and this is a cinnamon tea. Cinnamon tea. Yeah, I would say cinnamon berry tea. Cinnamon berry tea. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, let's start and see. This is very. It's cheers. tomato with the cheese. I never. We never tried this particular bun. No. Actually, truthfully, we never seen it before. No. It's tomato, it's chicken salad, and uh, green lettuce, lettuce and uh, I don't know what else. Let's try. Mayo. Mayo, for sure. I like it. It's sweet buns. The buns are, I found, the buns themselves are pretty sweet. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. I got to the really side. To the Point and actually have the feeling. I love the sesame seeds on top. Mm -hmm. I think it's add a lot. Oh, I'm not in This is so good. Good? Mm -hmm. I didn't get it. I don't know. And then because in the beginning, you have, you have some piece bun. of the bun. Then you get it. Oh my, this is good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. The salad is very good. Mm hmm. And there's a lot of chicken. Mm hmm. It's very freshly made. Yeah, it, it, it was just made. Just took them out from the kitchen when I bought them. It's all about the timing sometimes. In this particular shop, it's like I, I found in most of the Asian markets, it's very much about the timing when you come. Because if you come too late, like for sushi, you need to come very early in the morning. Because they're making the sushi and then it's very fresh and they're making like, you know. But if you got, come a few hours later, it's already, you know, sitting in the fridge, which is not as good. Exactly. You want your sushi to be fresh. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the rice gets a little bit Weird. dry, old. Today, there were so many different, um, like with purple rice, like it was so different today. Oh. The variety was just amazing, but I was a little bit later, so I didn't want to buy sushi because it's a bit later. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is really good. And seasoned well. Mm -hmm. And not overly sweet, which is important. No, no, the bun is not overly sweet. So, because sometimes they have tendency to do too sweet. The bun has a tint of sweetness, but it's not like, you know, oh, sweet bun. Yeah, because the bread even often. But by the bread, no. it tastes really sweet. And we're like, oh, it's a really sweet bread. How did that happen? I mm -hmm. Very strange. But we're used to it. Like, we know what we're buying already. No, but the last time we were surprised with the bread. Mm -hmm. A bit. Like, oh. Mm. Yeah. Today morning was very eventful. Yeah, I had to go and check um, oil and check a couple of small problems with my car. I asked them to check, and obviously the the brakes the brakes had to be fixed, and um, yeah, a lot. And then some filter had to be changed, and oil, and all of this, and it adds up a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm like. How much did you pay, honey? Like, oh. <laughs> I know, but I found that it's. But you know what? Those those extra expenses in life that you don't expect them because you know yeah. uh, because there are actually brakes were checked the last time. Mm -hmm. We checked them the last time, and they were fine. And they were actually some of them replaced before. The, not all of four of them. Not it's four of them, exactly. But no, no, but they all they, they ch did check them and they had a little bit squeakiness the last time. Mm -hmm. So we brought them to back check. and say, oh, we did the oil. We said, oh, just check the brakes and they were totally fine. So it was a little bit surprised. <laughs> but but not a big it surprise. It, it wasn't a huge surprise. Because well, you, 
Yeah, I knew that it's uh, going to happen. If not this time, maybe next time. We saw it coming. But you know how human nature. We hope that it won't be this time. We hope that and it you, will be next time. You know, you suppress whatever you kind of know, and you just don't think about it. Yeah. Yes, because we, we're like, oh, the brakes. The squeaky. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. It's, it, it wasn't anyway near dangerous because I did check no. on time and this was time to check it again it's not was anything like that oh but no no we take our um went very seriously we don't um we always check it make sure it's okay we change our oil no no we've been okay. very good with our car there is no way it's not oh yeah very responsible but it was like oh then the filter they brought in the filter and it looked awful then I don't know. Anyway, the moral of the story goes, as much as you don't expect to pay those hundreds of dollars, I just expect, you know, well, oil change and maybe something tiny. Sometimes you know that those things happen and you, we did see it coming. We just, you know, suppressed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you can't let those things bum you. Yeah, no, because... It, it is a big bummer, but you kind of need to kind of, you know, shake it up and say, you know what, it's safety, yes, it's extra expenses that you really don't need. But again, who does really need extra expenses? They always kind of come as a burden and kind of yeah. land on your head as it, like, it feel, oh it man. It feels like unnecessary, but if you think about it and if you choose to, you know, choose to use vehicles and you need your safety and you need to check uh, the vehicle that it will work properly, and if you unfortunately can't do things by yourself, like, like some of us, you need to expect to pay to someone to do so. So, yeah. Yeah. And another good point is to make sure you, oh, the person who does it, you know, you trust the yeah, place that does it. Yeah, the place that does it. We're doing with this place for years, years, and years. And they never did anything unnecessary. Like it's never been that I have a feeling that you know you came and always something extra pops in. No, yeah, that you didn't really expect because we did check the brakes and there's squeaking. There was some squeakiness. We're like, mm, you mm. know what? It's kind of like oh. mm. we, we knew that, but we kind of suppressed that. Mm, yeah, human nature. You don't want to deal with problems a little very much. No. Right? We don't. Oh, good. <laughs> this one is good. This one is very good, actually. Mm. So that was the morning. This was on the morning. Yeah. And then I went to Tinti. I made the um, whole video. Because I lost the whole video in Tinti. Tinti, it's, it's an Asian supermarket, okay? T and T. T and T, yes. Asian supermarket, it's, I think, all over Canada. I think it's everywhere, not just in... Uh... Uh -huh. Oh my, just so good. And again, the cream is sweet. Coconut on the um, outside extra, extra, adds, adds that coconutiness. <laughs> yeah. But the bun is not... Not, not really overly sweet. No, no, just a tint of... Just like that one. Tint of sweetness. I love this. Mm -hmm. A lot. Yeah. So yes, whereas adults have all those expenses we have to bear with, it comes with age. <laughs> well, pretty True. much. Sure. You hit 18 or 19 and you're like, you're an adult, go to the oh, world. Yeah. And you know, sometimes, hopefully, 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 your parents gave you the tools and often they don't really give you, you the, the tools, tools to cope with that. And you're like, oh man. <laughs> so how do I, how does that work being an adult? <laughs> what exactly do I do? <laughs> and I need to do this and that? Oh my. I don't know, I wasn't so surprised when I was. But a lot of people are. I know. And the bills come. And you know, for some people, grocery shopping, you know. I know, Ariel is for today. No. No. If I will send him alone with, you know, not overly big uh, list of things. He will be getting it. He will be getting Like, e even for today. I know it for sure. Because I tried it. Every time I'm going with him shopping, I'm, usually I'm not filming with him. 
but a lot of time when I'm uh, shopping, he does all of, uh, you know, things like coming and said, okay, now we need to get this, this, and this, and this going, and it's getting, and he knows how to see, even knows how to choose garlic. Yesterday I showed him, I really, I need garlic. He looked at his, no, no, we're not going to buy it, because he knows that when the, when the roots are all cleaned, it means that it's in China, like grown in China, and we're not buying garlic from China. We're, we're, buying, we're lucky this way, we can buy local garlic here all, almost all year round. So I don't need to. Yes, but you teach Ariel. Teach no one taught me, for example. I know. I'll tell you the truth. And we met, we had numerous people we encountered with. Remember, I had a friend, mm -hmm. and no one ever taught her how to shop or anything like that. She would go and look at the final price of the package and not how much it actually costs per pound or per kilogram, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it was really, you know, it's kid, people, parents need to give those tools to the kids. Because often how many, because lots of moms go and do mm -hmm. shopping without the kids. And then the kids, I know it's a drag, of course, to drag your little kid, especially if you have more than one, good luck with that. And one mm -hmm. wants this and one wants that and then the meltdowns and stuff. But you know what? Meltdowns are part of life, and you can't expect your kids not to have a meltdown in the store. Hey, I have sometimes when we go to the store for too long, I'm like, oh my god, I can't do it anymore. Why did I come with you? It is true, but it's, but if we don't teach the kids, who will, right? As a parent, oh, yeah. we need to teach the kids. And that was my point. <laughs> yeah, and you're absolutely right. It's like you need to. You need to invest your time and energy into teaching kids how to do and that. And I know Ariel it was shopping with me a lot since, like, because she was at work. She worked in odd days. So I took Ariel everywhere with me. And um, one of the things that he was tiny, he already knows how to check for, you know, for tomatoes that they will be nice and not bumped. And then cucumbers that we love the small and thin ones. And it's years and years and years of um, training. Not necessary. I don't know, send him, you know, alone. No. For um, it's too young. We can do but that. But you can, you can be inside the shop and go and give him sure. a list. Oh yeah, you can do that. And that's what I'm doing a lot. I'm not giving him like particular list to follow. But I mean, okay, now we need to you know onion. Go check if there is organic onion. Go check if this. And a lot of time, I'm standing on one cent one part and I forgot something from the other part and I, uh, and I will say Ariel try to find this and this and he knows already where it is and it I, I bet it won't be shock to his system to go and shopping later no. in life no but that's the point you need to teach your kids you need to normalize it mm -hmm. like that it's part of now life it's not extra not steps a big deal. exactly and if they freak out oh well not a big deal when they're smaller hey they did now. No, he's happily, he's happily, he's happily, happily finding things for no, me without any um, anything. And sometimes he said, "Okay, do need something?" No, okay, I'm in this section of this because he found something interesting there. And especially in superstore, there is toys sometimes. And superstore is enormous. Store. Enormous. You have no idea. Well, maybe some of you do. It's huge. It's like mm -hmm. it's almost like Costco. I think, size-wise, I'm afraid. I think that it's a little bit bigger even. Yeah, than it's, it is crazy. It's huge, huge, huge. It's huge. And on the other one side, there is toys. And sometimes, if I don't need really help or I have like small shopping list and etc., he will ask me, "Can I go to see there?" And he goes and comes back, and um, it's okay. But the kids need to be exposed for those experiences. Most if you don't expose do. the kids, not going to learn. Yeah. And if they lose it a little bit, oh well. Don't you lose it sometimes when you go shopping? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, I lot why were, why she's... With adults, obviously we're not... Um, why, why she's talking about losing it? It's because we are part of the mom's group. And all the mom's group, like, oh, he lost it, he cried, he did that, that. And it's okay when child is, you know, whatever, whatever years old, even... A bit older child after you know daycare, he will like the child will be tired, but um, have a meltdown. And then okay. sometimes it happens that it happens inside the. Yeah. If you think about this, we also have meltdowns. We just don't express them, you know, so violently screaming most but, of the time. But sometimes we're nagging, we, sometimes we're, we're nagging, ignoring, we, sometimes, sometimes we're being crabby. Crabby is the big one. Crabby and, and yappy, agitated, and agitated, and almost screaming. Not. Yes, it happens. And it happens a lot. It happens to me. 
Oh, we need like, I just came, I filmed the video, came this, came, he's put things uh, in the refrigerator and just said, why you are like buzzing? Because you know what, I'm tired, like, I woke up <laughs> very early and I was like going back and forth for the time. Yeah, but it just happened. I came close to her, it's like, oh my, you're buzzing. I can, I can, I can, I can feel, I feel the vibration. It's like, oh my, I was like, I have to step back, sweetie. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, and it happens, you know what, and it happens. Absolutely. So, it's okay. The point is, you need to teach the future generations. If you don't teach them, yeah. teach them normal, regular stuff, you know, day-to-day -day stuff. So, yeah, something to do that you have to do, like paying bills. Da uh, daily chores. Or when we order stuff, like, um, I'd say from Amazon, we need some kind of product and we do research. <laughs> That's what I'm doing yeah, now. Yeah, so we thought Ariel, he always knew that I'm sitting there and choosing research. So, when he was choosing, mm, am I delicious? Mm-hmm. Am I the only one? Never mind, I heard that Backstreet Boys song, remember? <laughs> yes, I do. With the zombies, remember? Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> anyway, never mind. That's kind of weird. <laughs> it came on a playlist on YouTube, and I was like, oh, that was a long time ago. Yeah, you were talking about uh, Amazon. Anyway, of course, side of the topic, you know, that's how we get distracted. <laughs> Flight of the mind. Yeah. So now when Ariel wanted some fidget spinners, so he went and he did research and he goes reads the reviews about the product and he knows how to do it but you know what Not it knows. needs to be taught and he says oh there's no almost no reviews i said oh but you know what under amazon.com let's see you go underneath and there is uh, amazon.com reviews for lots of products so go and check them out oh i didn't know that because you have to scroll way 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 to the bottom i was like oh now yeah. i know so and another thing that we expect that if we, we are teaching him like child one time and he will do perfectly every time. Yeah, right. It takes no. years and years and years. Whatever topic it is, whether it's shopping, whether it's... Uh, Ariel was shopping with me since he was zero. Did you I think since birth. Zero, since birth. Yeah, well, did and it. he didn't clue in for a long, long time. And most of the things that you introduce one time or like say, oh, you need to tell Ariel, do this, do this. Yeah, right. We're telling them, do this or do this. On daily basis, but sometimes it takes some some skills will take more time than others, obviously. Yeah, yeah but it most depends. of the learning doesn't come from just uh, seeing or even telling the child to do it one more time. It doesn't register. They have, you know, it takes some it takes practice, and sometimes it takes and you have a month, long, long, well, years of practice. Sometimes not... it takes a month. Depends on the skill. I'm talking about the skill. Sometimes yeah. skill takes a month. Sometimes it takes years. Sometimes it takes ten years. Yeah. Like for me and um, f uh, for uh, my um, shoe shoelace, the eye hand coordination not everyone can do it, and um, a lot of them I have a problem to do like shoelaces uh, until this day. Like I know how to do them, I will do them, but it take me to forever to do this, like twice as three times as much. So I'm trying to find you know the sports that will be easier to, to, to slip in or sportswear or whatever wear uh, because it will take me more time and sometimes there are skills that it's very hard to do even if you know how to do it and even if you if people taught me you know forever how to do it exactly so just be patient oh yeah a lot of hey it doesn't take you a one time to learn the skill right Exactly. And always remember, you go into some course and you can't remember everything has been said. You know, remember Ever. only so much information from a huge topic. So, that's it. Yeah. So, thank you so very much for being with us. Today was a heavy topic or something like that. No. no. Medium-ish. Medium-ish. Could be heavier. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe, write us a comment, thumbs up us, and cheers. Live, live in life. And we'll see you tomorrow. And remember, remember, remember to go towards your joy and do something fun every day. <laughs> we are super excited to announce the opening of our merch shop. Go check our Go Towards Your Joy mugs and t-shirts. And you know, we all like rainbow unicorns. Show it some love.